below but I'm sure you know YouTube has a issue with I don't know copywriting so right away they I don't know they do something with the videos and stuff so please guys thank you so much for liking the video so I don't get affected as much for putting that song because that I'm just being obedient to the channel message also I kept hearing uh, Celine Dion after the reading I just did the power of love oh, I love that song Actually, I, I heard it once and I was like, oh, whatever, Celine Dion. I'm not really like a fan, but I know a lot of here Canadian people are like obsessed with her. But um, yeah, I like that song, The Power of Love. It's very, very, very nice. Um, check out my community board, guys. I always put, uh, and also all the songs that you hear or that I channel. Right now, I have a specific playlist. So go check out the playlist. And if you feel called to, go ahead and jam on those songs okay some of the songs uh, could bring some downloads or you know it could be for your person you know if you feel guided to go there you know this is a beautiful community here of uh, healing and uh, love and uh, you know decolonization and working on a higher consciousness and um, yeah it's all healing around here okay um but yeah there's someone who sells sabotage so i don't know if it's connected to that reading that i just did but i feel like I don't know if that was, but then when I was cleansing and I just cleanse again, I don't know. It's, it's an energy right now in this new moon in Libra. Um, I just kept hearing like self sabotage, self sabotage at the same time. So I feel like I don't know if it's that person or somebody else self sabotage the connection, or because they have a lot of chakra wound traumas or something like that, or because they're not feeling good enough or something like that. But that reading specifically that it's loading as we speak, talks about this person going through the changes, going through, you know, realizing, being aware of all the things, the, this karmic or these people, whatever it is, whatever it was, was it, that was keeping them stuck, was keeping them blocked from their feminine and it, from their divine feminine, from their union, right? For this, their earth angels, they, they could be earth angels themselves, or but they're definitely high sensitive empath people. Lots of water over there and earth sign. Oh, I see all the signs, but then I heard self sabotage. So I don't know if this is a continuation of that or it's a completely different um, storyline, timeless reading. Okay, guys, remember take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Definitely, I feel like this person has a blocked uh, throat chakra. Okay, whoever I'm speaking, I don't know if this is usually I read for the balanced person, but maybe your person that you're connected to has a throat chakra. Like my throat is very itchy and like I'm having a hard time like communicating. So I feel like this person is also very nervous. I'm feeling very anxious. Let me close the window. Maybe it's I'm just cold. <laughs> But yeah, very interesting energy. Um, hmm. I feel like using this deck and this one. Hmm. All right, so let's get into your reading collective. Let's see what's going on. Oh uh, yeah, they're building courage. Yeah. 
Yeah, they want to clear the air. They want to break the ice. I'm hearing. Take action with passion. Yeah. I feel like this person has been holding their feelings for a long time. I, I don't know why. I'm still lingering that energy from the other reading. But even though you guys saw, I just say three, four, and then I say it in front of you to claim your energy, you know? All right, angels and ancestors, please protect us of the highest of light. Any negativity, hex versus hexes, send it back to sender, and so it is. And we rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is trying to disturb anybody from the collection, from the collective, or the Mercury retrograde, I mean. <laughs> or anybody who going towards a divine connection, and so it is. Yeah, but I feel like maybe it could have been that, that that person self-sabotage and now they're changing. They're willing to work on this, okay? That's very specific, but all this of you in this reading, I feel like somebody self-sabotage and I feel like they're noticing this pattern within themselves that they tend to do that. They tend to self-sabotage um, good relationship, good connection because they have this, they haven't healed this yet, okay? It is an old mentality, limited belief, I feel. Yeah, see, this connection is protected by angels, okay? You are cherished by the angels, okay? You're in the flow. There's something in Christmas, I'm hearing. Everything is smooth sailing. So something will happen in Christmas, or this person wants to communicate, or they don't want to, I feel like they want to, I'm hearing they want to spend Christmas with you. Aww. This is so cute. Yeah, they want to cross bridges. Watching clouds. Lay back, rest and relax. Listen thunder. Something happened last Christmas. Hmm. So you're protected by the angels. You're in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. So that, I don't know, this is a Christmas energy or snow or something. And then you have the distant thunder. Clear the air. Yeah, clear the energy. There's definitely something in the air. And that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of us are protected or angels are protecting us. They're cleaning the air for us, especially us. Like we're helping with, you know, saging, cleansing ourselves, keeping ourselves, uh, you know, clean from negative energy, detached from any toxicity, toxicity not, uh, you know, it's leak your energy or exchange your energy with anybody, honestly, hermit mode, you know, if we have to, healing, going with the flow, following our path, prayer, meditation, exercising, yeah. Right now, a spirit is telling you that there's a lot going on that you guys don't see, that your angels are protecting you right now, so just continue going, okay? Yeah, lay back, rest, and relax. I feel like a lot of you are worried about your person or your person is worried about you. This is a confirmation you have nothing to worry about. The angels are protecting both of you, okay? Especially from this karmic energy. It's not, I feel like it's not just your exes. It could be your exes or your person's exes, but also it could be family members, disgusting, toxic family that you guys already cut the cord and especially narcissistic abusers for sure. I'm hearing narcissistic uh, people are van they ha they're in vain, okay? There's a lot of vain. I, I will talk about this in the podcast. As I feel like I, this is where I'm going after this reading. But I need to do my spiritual bath. Definitely going to be doing this. <laughs> Definitely need to do that, okay? So some of you could be doing that. Like, you know, after you, you know, talk to other people or, or um, I don't know, after you watch something or after maybe while you're doing your studies or when you're studying or something like that. If you're, you know, you're still in school. All of a sudden, after you leave work, it's like you're really like cleansing yourself, cleansing your energy, cleaning when your spiritual bath, self-care, loving yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because you're meant to be doing that, okay? So yeah, this person is crossing like bridges or, or they don't want to cross bridges or they don't want to burn bridges. But some bridges you got to burn, okay? Because yeah, damn. Yeah, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. This person wants to cross that, that gap, okay? So that's why they're healing. They're connecting within themselves. They're going within with the moon here. Something has been illuminated. Which is why they want to leave it to rest. And just like relax. They had a lot of toxicity around them. Like this is the, the distance on is like clearing the air. It's just cleansing. Their angels are honestly. 
Yeah, your your angels. I feel like this is a, I feel like this is Archangel Michael. Like Archangel Michael is protecting this connection. Like it loves you guys. Okay, it wants you guys together. Okay, so don't worry. Yeah, I'm hearing like I'm having this pain here. So someone is trying to mess with their solar plexus as well, mess with their confidence, and they know this. They are aware. I feel like this person is. I'm waking up. Yeah. Interesting. That energy passed by the other day. I put this song in the community board and there was someone trying to send this to somebody and then I just it just came back again so I feel like it's this person that a couple of days have been waking up to all of this like everything is going according to plan yeah I'm hearing that as well yeah navigating by the stars follow your bliss yeah that's what it is like they're following their bliss and the bliss is you they feel peaceful they feel like I don't know, I feel like this person, either they met you or they haven't met you yet, so... Remember guys, this is timeless, past, present, and future. This could happen already, this is gonna happen in the future, or this could happen in the present moment right now. But yeah. Wow. Joy and delight, open your heart to joy. So a lot of you, it's like your spirit god is saying, like, you could be very guarded because maybe this person treats you in a certain way, or you treat your person in a certain way, so they could be guarded, you know, but... I feel like right now what you need to just create boundaries and not close your heart. Your heart needs to be opened, okay? Focus on your joy and your delight, like you know, in your essence. Like continue focusing on yourself. What makes you happy right now? And I feel like your person is learning that too. Open your heart to joy, yeah. Joy. I'm hearing your name could be joy or some of you bring joy to this person. Yeah, they're stepping into their power and thanks to you because you're literally their light, you know? And I feel like this person, there's a lot of, um, they're very grateful for you. I feel like also I'm, I'm seeing like whenever they see the moon and the star, they think of you. This person holds a lot of feeling. Like that King of Cups energy is heavy right now. Like this person's been holding all these emotions for you and it's like, literally it's like they can't hold it anymore. Like they can, they can't stay away from you. You are strong beyond measure. Yeah, they know they're very strong. Yeah, see? They're cleansing the water. Yeah, they're doing this. Purification activates vibrant life force. I can't make this up. I talk about that in that reading. Okay? The more you cleanse yourself, the more you protect yourself. Look at the lotus. You know, you're keeping yourself celibate, sacred, you know. Let go of toxicity, addiction, and all that shit. All that demonic stuff. Let it go. So you can be high vibration. All of you is like, you guys think that being divine and high vibration and stuff like that, like, oh, you think you're better? No, it's because we do the work. We're not doing all, entertaining alcohol or toxic people. We're not fake. We're staying in our light and authentic. We cut whoever we need to cut off because no, we're not entertaining low vibration. We create boundaries with toxic and draining uh, energy vampires, okay? We're not dating multiple people or having fucking multiple people. That's just what it is. A lot of you, you get triggered by that, but that's what need to heal. Seriously. Okay? We don't, just don't. We don't. We stay high vibration. High vibration meaning we pray, we fast, we meditate, we do exercising, we drink our water, we watch what we watch or eat or anything. We don't just watch any content with anybody that's another one you guys are you know you need to make sure why you're watching you know we don't watch fucking news fuck that that's low vibration too it's too much illusion in this world like we're starting to stay above that but also stay connected to the right news because there's other news where they're doing the right thing they're saying the right things also being service to other being service to our our, our passions that, that keeps us in high vibration Having time with ourselves, alone, and talking to the most high, going within. Like a lot of you, that's too much work for you, but there you go. Don't complain then. <laughs> it's not like we're better. No, we're not saying we're better. If anything, that makes us even more humble. That makes us even, you know, stay grounded and like see things from a higher perspective without thinking that we're better than everybody because we know about vanity. We know that that's another thing that needs to be that's why we go through the ego death, so we can kill that pride, uh, toxic mentality, and vanity. Because that's not helpful for this planet, for real. Yeah, the universe, guys, loves you guys. 
the planets, all these retrogrades, like literally for a lot of you, it's like, honestly, happy Saturn return, Neptune return for you, Jupiter return, Mercury return, Pluto return, like, yo, a lot of you, it's like beautiful. Yeah, walking beauty, you're literally a walking beauty, but it's not like beauty, like it's like, like you need to be, you know, constantly, you know, putting it out there. It's a internal beauty. It's like, like inner wisdom. Inner wisdom is sexy. Higher consciousness is sexy. Having know your worth is sexy. You know what I'm saying? It's attractive. Having self-respect is sexy. Like the universe, like, man, you're sexy. <laughs> whoever you are, whoever I'm reading, like for real, like, see, you're starting a new cycle with this person or like this person cannot hold it anymore. It's like, damn, like I wanna be in that same energy as you. It's like, you're teaching not just your person, but a lot of people like how to have self-worth, self-respect and be there kind and compassionate and forgiving, you know, but knowing your worth, you know what I'm saying? Helping the collective, the masses. A lot of you could be healers for real. Yeah, passion and pleasure, savor your life. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, you're a mystic healer. Look at this beautiful energy. A lot of you are mystic healers. You bring the light and the universe love this energy that you give. Like you're focusing on yourself and your help being there for others, being there for your projects, your mission. You're praying not only for yourself, but for others. Yeah, it's like, wow, beautiful. Healing energy flows through you. Like, yeah, so you're letting, you surrender everything. And it's like the universe of divine uses your 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 essence your clean pure heart and then you extend that to others and it's like it's a beautiful circular scene energy you're alchemizing yeah it's beautiful it's amazing that's why there's a lot of people that they can't stand your life because your life literally burns their fucking demons that too it's like they get burned by the sun i'm hearing yeah, you're enjoying your life, passion, and you're you have pleasure and the little things like every little every little things make you happy, make make you so joyful. So that's why you're very humble. You're not materialistic. You don't give a crap about the external or material things, and you know you know that money is an energy that you need it to be stable, but you don't need it to to boast your ego, to extra buy to impress other people and to validate other people. You don't give a fuck about that. That's when you use money for the right things. You use it for what you need, and then you give it away to others and your planet. That's what you're focusing on. That's why you're stable. That's why the universe loves your energy. Also, a lot of you are thinking of ways of how to make it more conscious, your business, if you have a business, which is beautiful. This is you know, eco-friendly or finding ways of how to reduce your CO2. This is so beautiful. Please continue this energy. Yeah, take take your your first step, okay? You're doing the right thing. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Yeah, you're reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. Absolutely. Okay? Wow. See, journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. That's it. You know that that the magic also it's like a lot of you are getting a lot of synchronicity, especially if you're connected to God, like, man. That's an amazing relationship with him, you know, him or her. Sometimes I think that God is a woman, <laughs> sometimes, but then he tells me, sometimes I'm a guy, sometimes I'm a, I'm a girl, you know, I'm both. I love it. I love it that he also, he's like that lie that people said about queers and uh, people uh, who like the same sex and like all this love, all this love. He never intended for you guys to feel trapped or thinking that, that you need to be, you know. Yes, he that creates one specific person for you, but the best person that can bring the best version for you. Okay? Yeah. Very specific. Okay? Yeah, some of you, it's like you're coming out. Like, you know, you're, you know, if you like the same sex, then go for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, don't, you know, don't block yourself, you know? If that's the route that you need to go, that's the route you need to go, you know? Just love yourself. Don't always change your energy with anybody, you know? Just, you know? 
because I feel like the person when you're loving yourself when you're taking care of yourself knowing your self-worth like the right person at the right time is gonna come to you I'm telling you yeah go slow and take your time exactly when you meet the right person it's it's gonna be slow and steady but that's it take your time don't let anybody rush you to do anything that you're not ready for you know and for yourself too like things that are rush is it doesn't last long you know all those of you you this is your first time like you're not really committal right so a lot of you it's like Okay, how do I, you build with that with that person? It's relationship is built, you know? It's not, yeah, you go slow and you take your time. You learn about each other. Being vulnerable, like a lot of you have never been vulnerable. So this is like a scary journey for you, but it is the right journey, you know? Being vulnerable is actually brave. It's It takes courage, okay? So a lot of you, it's like, that's the journey that you're going to with this person who makes you feel safe to do that. Yeah, they're literally, they're in your heart space already because a lot of you have opened like literally it's like i see someone like their heart is open like they're done with keeping all this emotion and love towards you yeah love flows through you and to you yeah wow infinite abundance wise leader you're a beacon for others wow that's so beautiful you and your person are wise leaders by the way and you're traveling to places and you're going to teach a lot of people how to um build abundance and stability abundance is pouring into your life yeah that's vista is finding her there's a lot of travel in here you're going to travel with your person and not only like traveling like externally but within like you guys are literally 5d like really have every this is really high vibration very specific message by the way wow all right angels and sisters what is going on wow obstacles and challenges yeah there's changes change five 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 this person as soon as the the obstacle right now is there i told you the throat chakra is to communicate better this is what the the enemy is keeping them trapped or sending other people to create um spells and stuff like that to keep your person from speaking to you that's really it that's all is missing the the spell it's already broken but i feel like whoever if the person the more they don't talk they self-sabotage and talking to you this is why it gives the other the enemy time to create more spell work to keep them more stuck so this is why they feel like why can i talk to this person i was ready yesterday i was ready like i feel like this person like i was ready and ready to go and then all of a sudden like something happened yeah it's yeah, it's people creating obstacles and challenges for this person. But I'm telling you, once your person speaks, everything is... That's why the devil doesn't want you guys to speak. Because once your person speaks and is connected to you and communicates, and it's in connection, connected to you and the 3D, because right now you guys are connected in the 5D. Also, 4D is for discernment. So your person, you could be also connected in the 4D already. Learning about discernment like literally that by the when the person communicates in the 3d see it's a learning experience okay this person is learning about this somebody's using something i'm hearing the book of shadow yeah your person could be maybe a writer or um maybe a reader or i don't know someone who brings a light to you know could be a magician with a cloak here they're very protected by the way the only thing is this, is the throat chakra. There's some healing trauma that your person is dealing with the throat. But as soon as they, I'm telling you, every time you pray for your person or your person prays for you, it's like all the blockages removed. See, this is why they wanted me to leave this. Block removing. Whatever was holding you back has been removed. So every time they remove it, maybe with your prayers or something like that, then right away it's like, yeah. These people feel they feel disconnected or bored or something. They don't know. They don't understand. Yeah, sacrifice. I feel like a lot of you is like you're doing a lot of sacrifices for this. Like you're, but it's not really like a sacrifice. More like you know, you know that it's for your highest good. Like this person, like you could be see rainbows. Like you're loving yourself. Like it's not really a sacrifice if you know if you love what you do, right? 12 can be significant, 4 could be significant. Yeah, there's someone, 
obsess with your person. That too. It's kind of scary, actually. It's very, like, it's really creepy, honestly. Someone is so obsessed with you to the point where they cannot stop thinking about you. But also that too, it's like your person feeling, why am I, like, they feel like it's like a problem. Like maybe you wish put a spell on them or something because they can't stop thinking of you. Like they feel like, like obsessed with this. Like they're obsessed with like, how can I communicate with you? But I feel like it's the reminiscing also of spell work that has been done on them. That every time it gets removed, it's like, like they get more and more like, in love with you so if anybody's trying to block their love life and stuff like that and when this energy gets removed like they don't understand why they they could be sending sexual energy towards you guys but you see they're the silent light worker <laughs> some of you is that someone around you is doing white magic and secret to help you without your knowledge yeah so this could be your person doing this praying for you doing light work you know but also you like your vice versa which is beautiful it's like you guys are doing this unconsciously but also consciously which is working your person could be in the public eye okay or you are take it how it resonates some of you could be guided to create a platform or your person is or your perfect person could be also a celebrity you know or they're going to be a celebrity you know they're being guided to build something like get out of their comfort zone i'm hearing and like create this platform or something they're yeah they're gonna be in the public eye and so do you like this is your mission yeah they're being healing a family curse also i'm hearing his family who's doing this to them too which is hard to come to the awareness and realization of this okay yeah there's a family member or someone doing this blocking their third chakra could be that maybe your person could be uh, maybe someone who's a speaker or a singer or a musician, someone who talks, like is in communication, who is meant to have a, a large platform, a large following, literally help people wake up too and like go through their healing journey and stuff like that, believe in magic, but the good magic, you know? The God, you know, God ascended master's beautiful magic. Okay, the magic they also is it's from the universe that it resides within ourselves. Okay, someone's using magic to place generational curses on you and your family. So, some of you maybe your person has a family or has children or something, or this person has children, take it out, resonate, or it could be that that they the family is cursing this person so they don't have a family with you, which is pretty sad. Not pretty, but it's very pathetic and sad, honestly. Yeah, but you see your spirit team. Can't make this up. Spirit team. It's right there. Your spirit team has your back right now, and you are not alone. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody cursing anybody of my collective who is reading this reading. Send it back to sender, and so it is. This is why I also light up the candle as well. I'm protecting everyone. So anybody even tries... Especially karmic veal, you're already fucked if you even try. My readings are heavily protected. And I've been warning people to, to yeah. This person's creating soul tie. This could be a karmic. You're all your soul tied to someone and finding it hard to release this connection. Hmm. Soul ties are usually not good. This is someone trying to keep someone stuck. This could be family, exes, anybody. This is why there's your spirit team is here. Yeah, submission magic. Someone wants you to submit to them and allow them to have their way with you. What the fuck? Toxic fixation. Someone's attracted to your light and seeking to deem it. Yeah, these people are so pathetic. Anyway, Spirit, let's... What else do we need to know about this? These people are just low. Just keep high vibration, okay? Pray for your person and yourself. Meditate, cleanse your energy, do some fasting, okay? It's working. Whatever you're doing that is, these people, it's working, okay? So that's the message here. You needed to hear. Yeah, see, I can't make this up. Harmony. Focus on your harmony. Look at that family. Harmony. This connection is going to happen no matter what. Okay. Yeah. Prosperity begins. The Ace of Wands. 
person wants to communicate with, it, with you. They want to have this passion in you, beginning with you. They want to build with you. I see them planting trees with you. Maybe you're, you're into that. But there's union here. Six is love. Harmony. I can't make this up. You're in this person's heart chakra already. You guys are speaking to each other through the heart space. You open this person's heart chakra, yeah. Yeah, patience and planning. That's what they're doing. Like This person needs to be patient with themselves and they're planning. All this of you, you need to be patient. Let them come to you, okay? Don't try to approach them. Don't try to reach them out. I'm here in this channel. I encourage Divine Masculine to speak with their Divine Feminines. I do not encourage Divine Feminines to reach uh, their Divine Masculine because you need to read the masculine energy in this era. This generation has been demasculated, okay? Because of the toxic patriarchy and machismo and colonial mindset, okay? So uh, usually a person who is healed, a divine masculine is healed because divine feminines don't have time for this energy. If you're, a car if you're a feminine reaching out to guys, you're karmic. Just what it is. You're not healed. You're insecure. You should not be doing this. Women should never, never, no, I don't believe in that at all. Just not. Feminists, you have way too much work. Way too much work to be uh, uh, literally leaking your energy, trying to... Uh, no, you are trapped. You don't chase, you are trapped. The bad master is the one when he's masculine, when he knows what he wants, when he's healed, when his heart, he's operating from his heart, not from his mind or his wee-wee, he will reach to you. Also, that also and, and, and makes sure as well that your relationship is long lasting. Because when you go after a guy, you chase after a guy, it never lasts, does it? Does it? Look at your record, right? Don't chase men. Let them chase you. That's how also how you, you are high vibration. You know your worth. You don't need to be chasing people. You have a lot of work. You have to heal from decolonization. You have to heal from toxic oppressive systems. Okay, patriarchy as well. Anti, be an anti-capitalist. Okay, because capitalism does not benefit you, feminine. Okay, if it benefits the masculine. That's why for him it's not that much work. Which is why I say this in this channel is healing, and it's a good thing when you let the masculine, divine masculine, reach to you. It's healthier. It's more conscious, and it makes sure also that he's appreciating you. That he's grateful that you are doing this work so that he is able to feel at peace while you are already in your peace. You see the difference? There's no actual toxic chasing. It's attracting. He's attracted to you and he's going for you. There's a huge difference. This specific reading, this person is her heart chakra is opening or has been opening this is why they're they're focusing on their prosperity they're focusing on building harmony conscious connection this is someone that has self sabotaged this connection before but because they weren't operating on their heart space this is why it's taking time for them because they have to heal their heart okay all the blockages that has been created also this the angels are um protecting this Patience and planning. Yeah, this person is planning. Okay, so you got to be patient. Seven is literally completion also, but also like very, very angelic. Yeah, yeah. Fulfillment of wishes. You're somebody with fulfillment. Yeah, see, they know this. The crown chakra is lit. Some of your crown chakra is lit. Also, you know, especially when you're connected to God, you know who is doing the deception and envious towards you. Seven, you're actually protected from this fucking people. Your intuition is letting you know about these people who are uh, trying to jeopardize your manifestations and your love life and stuff like that. You know this. Also, if your person operating in this energy, they know that they have to apologize. They know that you know if they come in this energy. They know they cannot come in this energy. If not, they're karmic. They're not, uh, no. Yeah. There's a lot of conflict and deceive attached to somebody. This is very specific. If someone comes with this energy, hell no. You'll know. Because they're only going to bring conflict and, and honestly, you're going to feel, you're going to regret it. All this of you, there's a lot of people creating conflict magic, trying to defeat this energy, trying to 
you know, keep your person down by deceiving them and because they're jealous and envious of your person. Actually, your person having this higher uh, divine, beautiful uh, relationship with you. It's very sad. Okay, so I'm hearing you want to know who is protecting you. So let's see. I don't know if your higher self just asked that, but I just heard that. So I will give you who it is. Okay. Who is protecting your person and who's protecting you? All right. So this is angels and archangels. All right. All right, so we have Archangel Ariel. Your person could be also an earth angel. This is an environmental abundance guardian of the earth, okay? So you wanted to know. So six, you see, Archangel Ariel is protecting this connection as well. Your person could be an earth sign, okay? What else, spirit, what else you want to tell them? Whoa, Mary Mandolin, whoa. Yeah, this is your divine feminine energy. She's beautiful, very sexy. Archangel Jophiel, yeah, Joy, I can't make this up. Would you saw Joy before? Yeah, this person has a lot of protection, a lot. And so do you, by the way. Mary Mandolin, divine feminine, yeah. Devotion, sacred sexuality, yeah. This person is very sexy. Like they're kind of like, but it's like, classy sexy it's not trashy you know it's like this person is like have this shirt but also has like the hoodie they know how to protect themselves see with the necklaces and stuff mary Magdalene, she was highly hated uh, you know what i'm saying because jesus she was one of the disciples that jesus wanted to wanted her to be around she was considered a prostitute but she wasn't some people say that she was a <laughs> he's saying yes this is going to rowdy a lot of religious people. Yes. Mary Magdalene. There is a story of um, when you read her, uh, the Bible or her Bible, where she is um, Jesus' sweet flame. Yeah. Because she was chosen. Also, she was chosen by Jesus to follow him and to protect him and to, yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. So you have Archangel Ariel, and maybe your person is connected to, this Divine Feminine is connected to Mary Magdalene. Wow. Which is why they could be an environmentalist, very abundant. They're a, guard, a guardian angel, an earth angel, okay? Protected by an, another Archangel Ariel, an earth angel, okay? And if you're connected to this person, absolutely you have this Archangel. Especially if you're on a high vibration, you're doing, you're following your mission, you're healing, okay? You're listening to your intuition, you're healing your heart because you're being guided to do so. Yeah, you are in this, you will be in alignment with this person, okay? Archangel Drill, joy, radiance, inspiration, yeah. You're somebody inspira very inspirational. I don't know if I'm saying this right, Jophiel, Jophiel? Nine could be significant. See, I can't make this up. Archangel Michael. Clarity, truth, and protection. Number one. So Archangel Michael is letting you know this is the one for you. Oh, look at this. Can you get more confirmation than that? There's forgiveness, compassion here. The spiritual teacher. Some of you are really connected to Mary Magdalene and Jesus. I love it. He's my master. Ascended Master. Love it. And Mike was one of our protectors as well. So, hey, your person could be connected to my energy or you, whoever you are. It's like, wow. These are usually the angels when I was in a really low space. They are the one who got me out. Also, I saw a lot of Mary Magdalene, like, book and read a lot of stuff for her. But definitely Michael and a beautiful Ascended Master Jesus was always there. Helping me with forgiveness, having more compassion towards others, to my enemies, and, you know, cleansing my heart, okay? Um, yeah, 
He's the one who said, you're gonna be the spiritual gangster teacher. <laughs> and uh, yeah, been doing that ever since. I think it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a year or two years now, so yeah. All right, so that's what you wanted to know. All right, so let's see. I didn't wanna make this too long. Oh, it's already 40, well, wow. okay. Is that it, Spirit? Because I didn't want to make this this long, but let's see any messages. Any... I didn't even use tarot. Whoa, this one pop up. Oh, wow, yeah, this person wants to bring you superiority. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is why this, there's a lot of heavy attacks on you guys. Six of Pentacles. I feel like they want to give equal give and take. I feel like they were maybe they breadcrumb you in the past, but they don't want to. They want to balance these things out. They these are gonna be balanced. See the King of Cups, Seven of Wands, the Lovers. Wow, the Fool, the Temperance. They want to reckon. This is reconciliation energy. This person has a lot, they hide their feelings like deep. They could be a little bit defenses or maybe they know your defenses are up or, but they block someone, see the lovers or maybe they block love for some reason. It's because they're heartbroken. They have to heal their heart. This is why the heart chakra came out. This is why like literally these angels and literally ascended master Jesus is like, come on. Forgive yourself, forgive and and both of you, you know, have more compassion towards this, towards yourself, right? Wow. This connection is very protected and this person has a lot of love for you, but it's like three of swords. I don't know if they broke your heart or they, again, self-sabotage. This feels like self-sabotage. Why? Because you're very attractive. Queen of Wands, you're a leader. We know once in a high vibration, someone who's built, right? He's very creative and entrepreneur. Um, they feel very foolish, I'm hearing. Yeah, they want to, I feel like they want to right or wrong or something, but I feel like they're being guided to do so. Yeah, they're being holding this for it. They know so much about betrayal. I feel like someone betrayed them, but I feel like they also betray themselves by neglecting or self-sabotaging this connection. This is why they want to reconciliate. Please don't go in the comments going crazy like, oh no, but they, they lost. Yeah, okay. 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 Please. This is for people who actually see beyond things and they, this is no contact, single. They didn't, they didn't start anything. I don't see these people didn't do anything. It's just this person went somewhere else. They just like, no. It was too good to be true, right? Yeah, they're having a lot of anxieties about this. Make sure you're breathing, okay? Temperance, you an earth angel, just like this person. It's like, you don't see that you're good enough, okay? It's all love, okay? Love yourself, the lovers here. Gemini energy, it could be a Gemini. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? Sagittarius again. The Fool, I feel like this person wants to take a leap of faith though. The Fool is uh, Uranus, you know, it's like they, they, I feel like this person wants to start a new beginning with you. They want to do this. Yeah, that's what is being illuminated. They know that you're, someone makes them happy. Um, they see joy, fulfillment. Honestly, like you bring the light. You're the light to, his, to the darkness for this person. Interesting. It's like you got them out of this low nine of swords, like having sleep. Like honestly, there's something having they having sleepless nights. Seven of swords. Okay, something is being illuminated. The seven of swords about what? The fears. Could be also someone keeping them trapped. Literally, mentally, spiritually, in every possible way, manipulating them and thinking they weren't gonna get caught. Your person caught them. They caught them. They knew. I'm hearing you're right, okay? So I don't know if you expose this or you talk about this. Maybe you're a psychic reader, tower reader, or whistleblower. I don't know, something that you reveal about this person. It could be a love spell, anything like that. We saw the 
everything has been removed. Everything has literally like uh, uh, the sun is lighting what has been in the dark. Yeah, this betrayal. This person got betrayed. Maybe they went, they, this person that they dated or they were with or something, they, they only care about their money about them. They don't really give a shit. Yeah, they're moving, going from wharf water to comma waters. I feel like this person wants to travel with you, want to go somewhere with you. Yeah, the chariot, I can't make this up. Maybe they're getting like, I don't know, maybe acquiring their license or there's a new car or some of you could be getting a new car or I don't know, something moving away. Yeah, see, I can't make this up. They're coming towards you and fast. They're balanced, by the way. Very nice energy. Very beautiful, which is very rare, by the way, that I catch this energy on a new moon when I'm dealing with stuff. Wow, it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay? Your person feels like you're going to reject them. Or some of you could be that, like you could be in your head a lot, or, or is them. Maybe they rejected you in the past, or I don't know. But this is that is why there needs to be forgiveness and compassion. And I feel like this person is healing this. Like even if you reject them or whatever, which I, I don't feel that at all. Would they? No, I don't think so. I feel like this person is all in their head. You're not. You're very. The Empress is someone very caring, very loving, very compassionate, very creative. You're. You really are in your divine energy this is divine feminine again maria Magdalene, maria Magdalene, right here and some of you you need this confirmation like you healed okay you've been healing you've been doing the work okay healing the heart is not easy okay especially if you're maybe has some toxic uh, ways of love or you think that love is some type of keeping you bound in here or something like that some of you have commitment issues but you think that someone, if you commit to someone, it's like you're gonna have to let go of all your dreams and stuff like that, but that's not true. Whoever put that, you literally, yeah, you're healing that limited belief. All of you, you think that you're prone to always have a um, relationship where the person cheats on you. No, that is a generational curse or something that you think, no, you don't. It's just, I don't know it's just weird why you get that energy but you're meant to have this ten of cups uh, sorry ten of cups and well ten of pentacles generational wealth uh, literally uh, abundance with this person whoever it is this divine feminine that's what they are they already are abundant that's what the thing is is that's what you want to be you want to be in a long-term relationship with this person yeah, there you go. You want to heal this energy and you want to be committed to her. Wow, high level soulmate here. <laughs> You're their secret admirer. You want to be. Wow. It's slow and steady. I'm here. When's the race? Look at that. Night tonight. This person is, is being illuminated about who their person is. This is so awesome. I'm so happy for you, whoever you are. But yeah, justice. Someone's going through karma right now, or some people are going through karma for trying to delay this connection, or justice, like this person wants to bring justice. Yeah, they want to be loyal to you. They want to be committal. They want to show you with action. This is someone with action. Like, they want to show you that they're not in a, yeah, the higher fund. They want to be, they're very spiritual, I'm hearing, okay? They want to be the knight in shiny, hour, shiny armor or something like that. They know they have a high level commitment with you. This is why they want to heal this. And I feel like their energy is like, they don't want to do to you what it was done to them. And it was done multiple times, okay? So I feel like if you were worried about if they're unfaithful, if they're not loyal, no. I, I see marriage, okay? This person wants, literally, they want union, I'm hearing. They want union. Whether it's with whatever toxic mentality papers or not. Like, I feel like you guys in the 5D, you already are. That's what has been illuminated. This person knows that in the 4D or 5D, you guys are already connected. You could be having uh, telepathic communication with this person already. Yeah, which a lot of people are mad and upset. Yeah, your person is a king, but they don't see themselves there yet. Yeah, there's a third party. Yeah, five of swords, very jealous and envious of them. 
You also could be dealing with an emperor or someone who's trying to control this connection, which you also very guarded. Your person knows that you could have somebody who's like, you're guarded to, or you, yeah, someone that you ended a connection, you know, something happened. Yeah. They see you as a wifey material. Yeah, that's what we saw, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Look at that, Divine Counterparts. Yeah, that's the secret. La la la. Look who's, who's behind it. Yeah, I knew it. Twin Flames. Whenever you see this one, there is a fucking, you know what I'm saying? And people trying to jeopardize because they're sad. I'm here in misery, loves company. They're sad and miserable. That's what they do this shit. They let themselves be controlled by this dark entity. I can't make this up. Look, they were stuck together. They were stuck together. Yeah. There's people being used right now. It could be family members. It could be ex-friends. It could be people that you don't fucking talk to anymore. Trying to jeopardize this connection. They saw a reading. They know something. But justice is here. Karma justice is coming for these motherfuckers who even tried. They're fucked already. <laughs> what? You have Jesus and Mary Magdalene around here? Come on. Look at that. Bueno. See? Wow, death. Some of you could be dealing with a death spell or something like that. Look. Some of you, this person doesn't want you to end this connection or something like that. They don't want you to give up on them. I'm telling you, this person wants to... Yeah, they're coming. There's another knight here. Very passionate. They want to build something. I feel like they've been building their finances so they can actually have something to offer you. But they are coming. The emotional message here. This person is literally learning about the sermon right now. They're listening to their intuition. Yeah, you go. Another night. Okay, wow. <laughs> Honestly, it's a slow energy. Let me just say, okay? It's not fast, but they're coming at their own pace, okay? They're dealing with a lot, okay? A lot that has been hidden. I feel like this person is keeping on the low, maybe dealing with some depression or something like that. They're trying to understand what's going on, okay? But justice is here. There's something that is going to, like literally, the universe is balancing this out, okay? They love you, by the way. You're the queen of cups. They have a lot of love towards you. My God. Yeah. There's a lot of people that know this, by the way, and they're trying to hold this person back, trying to control them, their finances and stuff like that, which is honestly lame. It's lame, okay? Um, let's see what the moon wants to let you guys know since we have this new moon energy. Don't let your past hold you back. Absolutely. Communication is key, like I said, and luck is on your side, okay? Believe in the impossible, okay? Whoever you are, if you're the divine masculine, communication is key. Absolutely. I just show you why it's important, okay? You gotta go through your fears, you know? Courage does not come without fear, okay? Courage is literally, even through the fears, you still go for it, okay? Be fearless, all right? I'm not being called by this deck. I don't know what's going on. House, home. Come home to the resident of your soul resonance. Yeah, this person is literally you. This is your soulmate, high-level soulmate, twin flame. Child, give yourself permission to play, yeah child interesting i can't i said you guys celebrity some of you are celebrities or this person is a celebrity or they're gonna be shine like the star that you are yeah some of you is that like even if if you are a celebrity i feel like this person feels childish or something like you make them feel small or maybe that's what it is they're intimidated by that but you don't care about that some of you you don't care you don't care about fame sex. like you don't care you want love, and this person wants to love you, and you want to love them. That's really it. You're home to this person, I'm hearing. Also, you will, Empress is a mother. So if you don't want to have children right away after you're united, I see a lot of sex, by the way. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Like, you're the kind of people that have sex anywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, use protection if you're not planning to have kids, okay? But there is a child coming. Okay? Yeah, I see that. 
Whoa, I feel like food eating. You guys are gonna eat together a lot. Be mindful of the thoughts you're ingesting. Yes, watch your thoughts, okay? Computer, this person is watching you on their computer. Upgrade your mental software. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of limited belief bathroom. Look at that. Flush away all that no longer serves you. This is for your person or you, you know? But yeah, see, angel, you're an angel. You're an earth angel and angels are protecting both of you. Tap into your higher wisdom, absolutely. You're both earth angels and you know where you at. Just trust that intuition. Trust what you see in the 4D and the 5D. You are connected already. I'm seeing a lot of sex, okay? I just, yeah. <laughs> You rascal, rascal. Yeah, you guys are definitely, there is a lot, okay? Like the sexual energy is, woo! Okay. <laughs> Whoa, so yeah, once you meet in the 3D, this is why there's a lot of jealous people because they know it's like your love is like amazing. It's from another like universe or something. Like, wow. Be aware of what you're projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay? Look at that. Ooh la la. Told you. I see two people like doing the happy hanky pankies. Okay, this one. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Absolutely. Follow your heart, Divine Maslin. Uh, see, playfulness again. Play, play. Like, it's time for play. Be playful. Start flirting. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember, love is the greatest healer. You guys are healers. And you're going to, maybe you're comedians, maybe. You're going to make people laugh or something like that. Aw, power. Yeah, there's a lot of healing in this energy. It could be healers. Snake is literally you shedding old skin for a new one. You instantly know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. That's for you, Divine Masculine. Or Divine Feminines, if you're stuck in a situation that you know you have to say fucking no. Take your power back. For real. Alright. Let's see the hidden truth. And I think we're going to leave it here, right? Oh, Andromeda, yes. Let's see. Wait, I want to use a little I love Andromeda messages all right spirit what is their person for the collective wants to tell them i feel terror for hurting you i there it is there's the healing i feel empty without you i can't make this out i told you guys this person can't live without you but they hurt you and they know this i wish i could take it back yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person needs to forgive themselves. And you need to forgive. Okay? Have compassion. And I don't know what happened. You guys know your own story. But there's definitely healing. This is... This is beautiful. If you're willing to forgive. Okay? I feel like I'm not good enough for you. I can't... Did I say that? I told you guys that's, what they, that's their energy. But they have to heal that. That's what they're working on. <laughs> See, I, can, I still have growing to do. This, I feel like this is a young soul. Maybe you guys are old souls. Because twin flame connections are like that sometimes. Like uh, one has more, uh, has been awakened before or has uh, many lifetimes here than the other, you know, or vice versa. But I feel like, yeah, this person, yeah, you see, they know this. Like, and it landed on the Empress, we will be together again. Wow. Yeah, they they're growing, okay? Yeah. I will wait for your I will wait for a sign for you from you. Uh I wish I could take it back. I don't know what kind of sign are they gonna wait because I yeah, they isn't sec that's insecurity. They have to have the confidence and come forward and take responsibility and accountability. They have to ask for forgiveness. They have to do the work. That's what it is. That's what they're growing up to do is. That's why it's taking them longer. Yeah, see? They also have to heal this jealous and possessive energy that they have. You are the love of my life. Hmm. But this is not a good energy. Love is not jealous or possessive, okay? 
So if they're still in this energy, send them back to heal. Go into harmony mode. This is not good. But also they've been around jealous and possessive people, which is why they attract that, because they are in operating in that. See, I abandoned people to make myself feel important. I can't make this up. That's why I kept hearing self sabotage. At the beginning of the reading, it talks about this. This is LA. I abandoned people to make myself feel important. Look at that shit. That's sad. Yeah, I was pretending to be someone else. Wow. So they weren't authentic. This is what maybe when we saw the Seven of Swords, like they were lying to themselves. They were pretending something that they're not. That could be really heavy. That could be a heavy burden, you know? But it's killing them. Like, it's hurting them horribly. See, when you're operating in lies and deceiving and... No, it's not... You're not hurting anybody other than yourself. They're realizing that they shouldn't have done that. They love you. I find you incredibly attractive. Wow. This was just a flame. Ooh. Oh yeah, so they had a fling. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is a, but it's in reverse. The third party was a fling, yeah. Yeah, someone who was very like attractive maybe or something like, I don't know. They, they fall for it. Yeah, they fall for it. Yeah, they probably left you for a fling or someone, I don't know. Some of you, it's like they didn't approach you or they didn't continue this for this third party who turned out to be a fucking karmic who was doing spell work and it turned out to be a fucking devil, jealous and possessive of them. Yeah, I still have growing to do. That was their, that was their lesson. It's sad that people have to learn it the, the hard way, right? They have to lose a gift, a blessing for them to realize, to grow up, to realize like, no, you already had your, who you needed to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person had to learn some very intense lesson. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, this person, maybe this karmic accepted that they, they were pretending, that they were fake and stuff like that. Also, they didn't mind that they were in and out and stuff like that, that they weren't committal. Maybe this person, you know, allowed them to have uh, third parties and stuff like that, or they weren't committal. They were okay with open relationship, which I don't understand that energy at all. It's karmic as fuck. Also that too, it's like you stay stuck and not growing. I don't know why people do that. It's literally like toxic as fuck. I wish I could take back my words. Again, I wish I could take it back. So you, this person could have said something. Maybe they said, maybe we're, you know, I'm not in a committed relationship. Maybe they put you in the friend zone or, or they said, I don't know, I'm hearing someone say like, oh no, we're just friends, right? Damn. Even though inside they were like in love with you. But they say that to applicate to other people. Maybe they didn't want other people to know that they were in love with you. That's sad. I wish I could take back my words. Also that too. Maybe they said that they weren't into you or something. Or I don't know. I feel like there's something that they said. Maybe there was a text or something that they did. They said something. Yeah. I wish I could share my good news with you. Something good is happening. But they don't have anybody to share it with. They know that you will be happy for them, but I feel like maybe they share with other people who don't have the best intention with them, who are possessive and jealous of them. They're not happy for them, and they know this. But they know that if they tell you, you will be happy for them. Because you don't, you don't try, you're not jealous or possessive. You want them to be happy, which is unconditional love. That's true love. Yeah, my life is not as together as it seems, and I'm afraid to contact you. This is why they haven't. It's a fear. See, they lie. I'm telling you, they lie. They lie. I'm afraid to contact you because they lie. But that's, that's the justice. You have to come forward. You have to tell the truth, even if it's uncomfortable, whoever this is. I want to be more than friends. I, I, that's the lie. They lie to you. They probably told you that they didn't want to have a committed relationship, that they didn't like you, that they want to leave you in a friend zone, and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, they're like, in love with you obsessed even they can't stop thinking about you because you are the divine feminine you're unique wow i wish things could be different yeah yeah they're having a lot of epiphanies right now about this i hid behind material things yeah i knew exactly what i was doing yeah Ooh, this person has a lot of messages but yo i gotta go <laughs> 
I wonder if you're happy without me. Wow, your person is, it's a beautiful energy. I hope you don't, I know that a lot of you are gonna be, you know, but I feel like your person, it took him a while to get here. The, you know, growing takes mistakes, takes uh, a lot of, but this person, I feel like they're holding their balls together and as they change and they're like, okay, no, I need to come forward. I need to make this right. And I'm feeling their energy, like they're building that courage and strength. They want to bring justice. They want to be balanced to this. They want to be truthful. They don't want to be friends. They want to be more than friends. And I feel like you're in a space right now that I feel like is very hard to reach you. And I feel like this is why they're building the courage and strength to overcome this fear and even though and see you because i feel like this person puts you in a high pedestal and they're ready to take you out of the pedestal and see you as who you are a real human being right right that has gifts and talents just as they are it's just as they do but i feel like there's a lot of epiphanies and realization that is coming and this person is growing and you know and healing and it's it's a beautiful energy honestly i i'm glad Thank you for letting me read to you, whoever you are, and uh, or for your person letting me read for them for you so that you can receive these messages. And I hope that this gives you clarity and truth and helps you heal your heart and gives you confirmation that you need to hear about this person. I'm not feeling any animosity. I'm not feeling any third parties, by the way, if you were wondering about that. There's no cheating, lying energy as well. Um, I feel like this person because this has happened to them and also because they also feel like even though they weren't with you they went they rejected you and went with this flame and then found the same thing that they always find jealous possessive crazy psycho karmics that it was like a kind of like okay i need to stop i need to heal something within myself so i stop attracting this my ear is ringing a lot this person wow yeah, they, wow. They're thinking about you as we speak. So, wow. They're high vibration. They're, they've been working to be in the high vibration. So if you are high vibration or balanced, that's who I usually read for. They're meeting you at that vibration, okay? So honestly, I will suggest to so you don't jeopardize this beautiful blessing because it is a blessing that this person is changing. Um, but also it's because they know they made a mistake, okay? They know this. They know they lie. They know that they shouldn't have. And it's the fear that is keeping them away from contacting you, from talking to you, and from telling you the truth, from revealing this. This is a King of Cups energy, like really holding all that feeling within themselves. They know who you are. There's a lot of love here. So it's up to you, you know, it's free will. But I feel like there should be a chance. And I'm not here advising, you know, you do what you want, but hear them out, okay? Use the sermon and use your intuition. You'll know when, if they're lying. If you're a divine feminine, you know when they lie. You know when people lie, you know when people are, players or hoes you know you bring your literally karmic justice so you know when someone is not coming right you know when they did the work and they have grown from that situation or not you're gonna know so my beautiful request for you for your own you know beautiful journey so you don't block it you you don't become them self-sabotaging this connection because that was their energy also you're when if you don't listen to them and stuff you're already validating what they're already being overthinking and where this is an overthinker what they already been feeling like oh they're gonna reject me they're not gonna talk to me they're not gonna answer my message they're not gonna answer my call like you're validating what they're already putting in their head whatever the devil is putting in their head so when you look at it from a different perspective and you see it as like, they don't want anything for you. They just want to love you. Okay. It's different. And I still think that you should have this conversation with compassion, with love, and then see their point of view. But I need you to listen to the way and not only listen to what the way that they speak, but also their, 
their actions after that conversation, okay? How they act towards you. And if they're not in that energy of lying or anything like that, low vibration, you will know that they are working to not be in this energy anymore. That they wanna be better for you because they know that they have to be because they feel that losing you is too much high of a price, if that makes sense. Sorry this is getting longer, but I wanted to explain myself or explain their situation so that you understand that losing your right now after doing all this work changing not only for themselves but for you is too much high of a price it's too high cost okay this is why this person they see your value you're very valuable you're very you're unique you're there's nobody like an empress there's no one like you okay but also it's like you're designed and made for them and they know this and this is why they, it's, it's been very heavy on them for lying and, and self-sabotaging and going towards something completely low to realize that they had all along what they always wanted, what they always dream of, what they literally manifested, you know? And it happens a lot. There's a lot of people who don't see uh, what they have until they lose it, right? And I feel like this person doesn't want to lose you. They don't want to be without you. They want to give this another chance. And I feel, and honestly, with the honesty that I'm always bringing to all my readings, and I usually don't intervene into people's business and don't think that I am. I'm just letting you know that you won't regret giving this person a second chance. Very specific for some of you, especially when this person shows you with actions, you know. They show you they don't, they don't, they're not lying, that they don't want to, like they show you with actions. They show you love, genuine love, okay? Also, they're invested in this relationship. They want to show you that they admit certain toxic things that they have. They're going to admit to you that they never been committal, that they don't know what that means, but they're going to learn through you. They're willing to learn with you, okay? So you're not going to regret it okay this is the love of a lifetime um yeah which is very beautiful okay all right my beautiful collective now i'm gonna get into my moon bath i love you i hope this was helpful i didn't think it was gonna be this long but i guess it's the beautiful love energy that's going in this new moon in libra beautiful justice moon in libra bringing beautiful karmic justice for beautiful divine people who are doing the work shadow work, inner work, who are taking accountability and responsibility for their actions, who are going from the dark to the light. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, that's your reading, guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, and share for other people to find this beautiful reading. Thank you again for letting me read to you. It's a beautiful energy. And uh, yeah, I hope this actually helps you, okay? And I let me know in the comments if you actually found your person <laughs> and uh, you guys reconcile. Uh, I would love to know. I'm a Cupid uh, love uh, puppy. <laughs> um, yeah, and that too, so I can pray over your connection. So, you know, pray and pray protection over it. And uh, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Have a beautiful evening, weekend, whenever you find this uh, reading. If you did, it was meant for you, okay? And uh, believe, believe in magic. Believe, believe in love, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> never lose hope with love and never lose hope or faith, okay? Because love is the highest frequency and peace. Because there's a lot, that's why I, I, it's hard for me to let go of this energy because there's so much love and so much peace. Like this person is gonna bring you peace and you too are gonna bring this person peace, okay? <sighs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye guys, have a beautiful evening. I'll see you next time.